Alrighty guys, working on the cattle shed, or did work on the cattle shed again today. Got most of the electrical done, got a lot of progress done, which I was pretty happy about. I take a little dirt, I buried a, a wire from the shed, or the shop there over to the shed, so I gotta get just a little more fill and put back in on top of it. We're gonna piece of inch and a half PVC underneath it, a little gravel there, and uh, wire through it. It's coming along pretty nicely tomorrow. I'm going to do a run a water line out here. Uh, we're going to dig that hydrant up and get rid of it. It doesn't work anymore. It's got a leak down by it. So we're going to dig it up and I'm going to rent a trencher then and trench a little water line over to where I need to be. Dirt there. Don't need much. 5.5, I was looking at it the other day and I gotta pull the engine out of it whenever I do get around to it because the pan up underneath the engine um, the engine sits on, uh, it's rusted out, and so it's just open to the cylinder and everything down in there. It's also the top plate for the cylinder and beater shaft, so I have to pull it out and weld a new piece in. The problem when they sit outside, things rust out. But I got several other things to do for it. I got, to get, I got the 525 finally fixed up where I want it, and I got several things to do with the 7800. And then once I get the bean head for it, get a bean head for it, then I'll probably be on to the next project will be that there. starting the shop and show you what I've done. Mr. Nate could have probably whipped this out in about three hours here, but it uh, I'm not terribly fast with wiring and uh, takes me a little longer. Took me, yes, I piddled with it uh, yesterday for an hour or so, and then today, most of the day, I had to run over Menards and get more stuff, so that took a little time. So I probably had about eight hours in it. When I start up there, we got a three-phase outlet that runs down to here that we never use. Um, so I took the 210 wires from the three-phase cut and spliced into them um, and left the 220 wire intact. But I took the ground and the 210s for the three-phase, put them in that junction box there with another uh, with the 10-gauge Romax I run out here and uh, run down along the top right here. And I drilled a hole in the wall, run out through the outside there. So I got 220 going out to the shed. Oh, I'm trying to turn the other light off. Then uh, we took a piece of sheet metal off the corner here and run the wire down the inside of it, right in down to. You got silicon kind of settled in there. Yeah. Not that silicon didn't set up very quick. Jeez. <laughs> anyway, run that down and uh, into PVC. And I dug down here and I dug under the building there a little bit so that it could run up inside. And then I come up in the corner there. Oh, that's another project I got is this Cummins right there. That'll be a replacement for a power stroke. 
but that's going to take a little money to do that one. But anyway, you can see the wire runs up right there, around the long whole building here. Bought a hundred foot roll and I thought that'd be enough and it turned out it wasn't. It only got me right there by the time we buried it. And so then I went in town here to the hardware store and bought another 25 foot of 10 gauge and a different color but running over here to the, uh, I got my breaker box here. Um, got it set up on 220. Um, and then right now I just got four 20 amp breakers in it because uh, or 220 volts and I split it off into 110s and then uh, it'll just uh, I'm gonna run three I only need three breakers right now but I got a fourth one in case I decide to run something else but I got one breaker running over grandpa had a bunch of 12 gauge uh, Romax it, and he had a bunch of probably several hundred feet just in random rolls and we were able to piece a bunch together. I didn't have to buy any of that so he saved me some money there. Uh, run it over. I got one circuit right here on this outlet for in case I want to run a grinder. Oh Jesus. I forgot that's hot. <laughs> but anyway, um, then I run the switch in and I run the wire up to my lights up here. Got two 300 watt light bulbs right up here. Um... Run that across them beams there and you can see it worked. I'm pretty happy about that. Didn't have it short anywhere or anything. But um Yeah, so I just got the only thing I gotta do tomorrow is just uh, run another wire back this way. I'm going to put this on the same circuit. Just have one circuit for this. I'm going to run a wire drill through the sheet metal up here. Put a uh, outlet probably right in here somewhere where I can mount the fence charger for the electric fence. And then run another wire over um, to right there by the hay. So I can just have another outlet in case I need to plug something in sometime. But uh, I'm real happy with the way it turned out. I would have mounted the lights more in the center, but I wanted them kind of here because then at night or something, if I need to back a wagon in or something, the wagon or whatnot in or messing around at night, it'll kind of shine some outside, which will be nice. But anyway, like I said, that one done quite, quite as fast or probably near as nice as uh, Nate would have done it, but. Uh, <laughs> first for this is my first major wiring project I've ever done at least on my own grandpa helps him he takes two people to string wire because that stuff's just stiff but um I was pretty happy with the way it turned out but anyway another project right there at skid steer But we're going to dig that hydrant up, um, like I said, and we're going to trench a line over. So I don't know if I can get a, a video. I need to see uh, if I can find a video program that does a good time lapse. My camera doesn't do a time lapse unless it's my phone. And I don't really like that because I think it tries to make it like a 30 second video. It just has a, it either speeds the video up or slows it down so that it fits in like a 30 second, a 20 to 30 second range. And I don't like that, so I'm going to try to do, find another program where I can use my uh, ion camera and then just put it on the computer and fast forward it. The one I got does all right until you get over about two and a half times the speed of the video, then it just gets real choppy. And I said, I don't like that. It's no fun to watch that. Um, but I might see if I can set it up out here somewhere and get a video of us uh, digging and trenching and um, whatnot hardware store in town has a little uh, Toro trencher that will run about 48 inches deep in it uh, for two hours and 80 bucks so figure that ain't too bad
But anyway. Oh, and then I also got to move the 525 tomorrow at some point if we get done soon enough and take our pile of dirt up around the outside of the shed to fill in underneath so that it doesn't get, so it makes it more tight now, don't get crap or wind or wind blowing in or rain coming under the shed, so. Thought about running an overhead, but then we decided for long-term purposes it would probably be better to have it run underground. Now I say you get a voltage drop by running the wire underground, which is why I run it in the PVC. Hopefully it won't do that because it's just floating in airspace in there. There we go. It's pretty good there. Didn't get any wire, any video on done today because you just wouldn't come on. Because I just, I, we were working hard and things were going pretty smooth, so I didn't take time to do a video, which I apologize for. But I figure I'm probably not the man to watch if you're wanting to learn how to do wiring stuff, anyways. Nate would be the one to do that because. I put it up and if it works great, if not, find the short and put some electrical tape on it, but that ain't quite that bad, but just try to do it up right the first time. done maybe tomorrow and hopefully uh, I, I don't know if we're going to done tomorrow but hopefully then maybe next week get the cattle out here after I get the fence put up but anyway I think that'll be it here and I'll have another video hopefully the water putting the water line in tomorrow so thanks for watching